Hey guys, it's Zubbas here at the Baron's Finest, getting you all a deck profile of Fluffles today. With Jacob and the young Z's. Get out of here. Go, Zach. Alright, so why are you profiling this today, and what do you think about this deck? Because I have a huge passion for this deck. I've always loved cute decks, but none of the cute decks I ever played were good. Because he's a weeaboo. And well, outside Midolce, but... Outside Midolce, but I don't like autopilot decks that lose with one card. <laughs> anyway, this deck is amazing. It beat Cosmo, and it beat Pendulum Magician today. Beat Pendulum Magician twice. Oh, yeah. Definitely did. It's a very good deck that no one really knows exists. Yeah, like... People say yes to five things, and then they lose. <laughs> yeah, you say yes to five things. Like, yeah, that's fine. Right, so let's go and get started if you on say this. that at least like three times, you just lose. Yeah, so Unless you really have back row. I play three of the dog. Right. You, you might have to explain yeah. the fact that this right. deck is still considered yeah. obscure. Okay. Well, he's the Stratus of the deck. He can grab me a, any Fluffle monster from my deck that I need. Or, or he can grab me an Edge of Sabers. Edge of Sabers. Okay. Only Edge of Sabers. He can't grab me Chain. All right. He would be too broken, apparently, for that. I mean, Chain didn't come out when he came out. I know. Three, um, Fluffle Bear. I use Fluffle Bear only to discard, so I can get to my Toy Vendor. And Toy Vendor is the most broke shit in the world, and we'll get back to that. Okay, it's so also why, good for Frank. So why Triple Bear and not Double Bear? Because I see a lot of people go Double Bear. I prefer Triple Bear just because you want to see him as fast as possible to get into Toy Vendor. Because Toy Vendor is just one of the things in your deck that gives you the most consistency. Because this deck is like, it adds to hands, but you need something to draw a lot. And it helps me draw. And it enables uh, wings. Yep. So if you can Toy Vendor and discard wings, that's, that's okay. And I go two sheep. I see some people playing three, and I think that's terrible. He's, you never see him at one, and if you see him too much at three, so I think two is just fine. Right. If I control like a fluffle monster in, on the field, I can special him onto the field, but I can also um, special this on the field, then bounce this back to hand, and then I can special summon like an edge imp from my graveyard to my hand. Which is good because then I get to use my dog again. Yeah, sheep is a little good. Sheep's pretty good. Now, people are going to wonder why this. I don't play mess at all. I think mouse is trash after using it for so long. Yeah, mouse. Really? So. What makes you say that mouse is trash? Mouse is a dead draw. You dead draw into mouse. You have to waste a normal summon to get him out, or you need to get lucky with Toy Vendor. He doesn't replenish your hands like Rabbit or Cat does, and that's why I don't play mouse. Well, I have mouse. Well, true, but mouse at the same time is also a plus just by inherently playing the card. He's a plus, but he needs to be on the field to be a plus. Like, okay, it's a plus, but pluses don't get you anywhere unless it does something productive, which it does not. Well, he's, he gets you more materials for Tiger. And, he's good uh, for a Tiger play, yeah. but usually I already have a shit ton of materials yeah, like, in hand. And be able you to don't do need stuff. more than three Tiger plays. If, like, if yeah. you do three, if you have more than three Tigers, you're just like, so, it's just broke. I play two Fluffle Rabbit. I've never seen anyone play this. Fluffle Rabbit, if he uses material, I can grab back an Edge of Sabers or any Fluffle Monster back from the graveyard to my hand. Then Cat allows me to grab back a um, Polly. And that's really it for those two. These two just replenish my hand. Then I play two wings. All right, so why not max wings? Because I see a lot of people play triple wings. I'm not... Because wings is a dead draw. I don't want a dead draw into wings. Well, yeah, but it's a draw card. It's a draw card, but I would personally rather prefer just to see stuff like dogs in hands or these guys in hands. I, like, I've tested wings at three before, and, like, I didn't see it enough to think it was good at three, but I didn't... Like, not see it enough to think it was bad. Right. I like two. Two's just fine. Played one owl. He just grabs back a poly where he can be used as one. Sometimes I think about cutting him, but then there are times where he does come up. Play three edge of sabers. Okay, I see people like normally play two of this, so what makes you play three? I play three because he is like one of the biggest materials that you need for the deck. I don't understand why people play two at all. Well, the idea behind two was like that because of the fact that it's a card that can recycle itself and your deck recycles itself naturally anyways, can... or surges it out anyways, it's like, why would you need to max it? I still like and maxing it. And not to mention, like with triple wings, you're also more inclined to draw them. I get that. But I just like knowing yeah, that there's a good chance I have it in hands, and two is just less of a chance of drawing this first turn. Keeping just I play three what chain. Need him for? Three chain is great. No, if I attack, I, I can add an edge to I, my I hands please. for my deck. I never I use that effect. I, I normally use them on Toy Vendor, the discard, and add a frag for fusion. Three king of the swamp. He's like an MVP of the deck. I can Isn't use he like them. a $10 right now or something like that? Yeah, he's, he's expensive as fuck. Well. I can use him as a fusion material, so he substitutes an edge him, really and then can he can also be discarded to get me what a poly. Right. 
Then I play one from the Trump Trumpwitch. She's came up. I Perfect. like the card. It's an, it's a fun little thing to tech in there. I think it's cute and it has a cute effect. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't substitute for Yeah, substitutes for poly. Yeah, no. Play three polymerization. Okay. There's not that much to say about that. I mean, it's uh, poly's poly. Yeah. Yep. That's I play it's two Fry Perfusion yeah. and then one Fry Perfusion. Yeah. So, Fry for Fusion is just a miracle fusion for Fry Bears. No and Fry for no Factory way. is great because this allows me to banish Polymerization or a Fusion Spell card from my graveyard and it becomes a, a um, Polymerization. And it's a continuous effect and I can activate its effect as many times as I want. So, as long as I have these in the graveyard, I can keep activating this. Alright. Three Toy Vendor. Toy Vendor is just the most amazing card the ever. The broken that, card of the that, deck. That stupid card. When I first wanted to play it, I thought it was bad. I didn't realize how good that was. Like, Toy Vendor lets you get so... You plus so much off of this card with wings. card's so good. You plus so much off of it. And then, you don't want to kill it either. My opponent never wants to kill it. Because if they kill it, then they're just letting me plus still. Yeah. It's, it's the best feeling ever. Then I play two Dark Hole and one Regeki. Two then, genetic monster outs. Yep. Two um, fusion reserve. I, can... I see lots of people play three. I prefer two just because so I hate dead draws, the... and this card is a dead draw. You want to OTK like as fast as you can. Give you auger and, and I play one vanities because it's Venus. yeah. If I don't go for game, like if like say like I don't deal that ideal amount of damage, then I can just set it and flip it face up. And let's, it's just let's... gonna mess with the opponent. Yeah. I think it was more about this match. I play one Chimera. I, mean, I never go into Chimera, but I love his effects. Because if he destroys a monster on my opponent's side of the field, then he can bring it back over to his side of the field, and then he gains 300 attack off of that. Yeah, so it's essentially exactly. well. Yep. I don't know why you were about to say it. Three Tiger. MVP. This deck is, is just terrible without Tiger. It has, it has no outs to anything, but since you got Tiger, Tiger creates so many outs. This is basically like an Exiton Knight. That's why I like to call it Exoton Knight. It's not, but it's I like your Exoton Knight. It's it's mine. It's so great. Like it just pops stuff, and you you can pop Toy Vendor with this too, which just gives you a plus. Like if Marco. it's just fun. Let me get this for more. Let me get this then for I play more. three Saber Tiger. It's my favorite fusion to go into. It's because like yeah. if you use more than three materials, which is so easy to do, then it, you can't kill it. You have to Castell it or banish it somehow. And then I usually use it. Fusion something using this as a material, and it just grabs us back, and then they beef up each other. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they get massive. Two sheep. Sh like, Fry for Sheep just shits on Cosmo. It's so much fun. And, like, um, if I attack, then you cannot activate card effects or anything until the end of the damage calculation. So it's basically the Armadis there. Yeah. And then also, if you kill it, it's just going to come back with 800 more attack. They just yeah. have no productive outs to it. Yeah. It's silly. Play two wolf. Wolf is great for going in the game. There's been so many times where I'm like, I can't get enough out. Stupid but wolf. that doesn't matter because wolf just... This man. Many times. This man summoned wolf with six attacks today. It's great. Six attacks. Silly. Stupid. One Leo. Leo has a built-in Ring of Destruction, and it's actually won me a few games before, and it's always left a really bad taste in every opponent's mouth. So I won Leo and not double, because I see some people play double Leo. I play one Fright for Bear. Yes. Never go into Bear. Yeah, I see like people just play the one. I play the one so I can use Fright for, um, not Fright for, but... Use fusion reserve to reveal it, then I can grab a sabers or bear the hand, whichever one I want. Then I, I play two generic ring fours. I'm probably gonna cut them because I never go into them. What are you gonna cut them for? I really don't know. Maybe if they ever make any more fright for fusion cards, I know I'll just cut them. They probably will. That's what I'm hoping for. Until further notice, they're probably. Yeah. I didn't even need to side this do you, journey. Do you think you'd be playing the second Leo or? No. I know, because like I, I would need to use the King of the Swamp to go into Leo, and I would rather just discard King of the Swamp to get a poly. And then make something more productive. Yeah. I guess that's true. Alright, so any final comments on the deck? Um, it's, it's just good deck. Good deck. It's a really solid deck. Don't play it. No one plays this deck. I'm the only person that deserves to play it. If I see... Here's a bet. If I see three people playing this deck... Here? Like at locals, 
anyone in the state, if I see three people playing this, I'm not done. playing. I'm done with it. He's he's gonna commit yep. to heck. I was really upset when the um. Okay, guys, go to the super. Go to the no, Indiana region. This did not deserve Don't to become that. a super. No, well, no it's such a gross looking super too. The elder does like that. It's like when Wind Up Shark came super. Deserves when it was already super. Yeah. The ultra looks dope. Yeah. Only poor people get that. Only poor people get this. You don't want to be poor. Yeah. I got this just because I felt bad for poor people. Had to pick it up for them. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's it. why. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Once Burning Abyss is like off the ban list, I'll play that again. Alright. No, you won't. Yes, I will.